the radio receiver R3004 made in England and I have this radio approximately 20 years I bought it in a dump shop and here you can see the complete unit and these radios were of course made for the military and their quality is extremely good very stable radio reception of course and we have here all kinds of uh, opportunities you can uh, connect an aerial antenna a coax antenna and the band scale here is divided between um, 2 megahertz and 16 megahertz that's a very good range and here you can see how this all is driven completely mechanical of course and you can switch to other bands and here you can set the BFO, the beat frequency oscillator to receive SSP signals single sideband signals and you can set the as far as I could see the bandwidth from that radio here and there must be of course more information about this radio on the internet so when you are interested search the internet to see what you can find from, from this beautiful old army radio I bought it in the Netherlands so um, I don't know uh, whether it was also produced for other countries I put down the camera for a while because I want to flip the chassis here you see by the way um, tuning caps I think they are for the antenna coil I don't know that exactly and here also a kind of board in which you can set I think the, the antenna uh, tune, the antenna coil, the VFO coil and the EIF coil but the schematic of course will give much better information about uh, the practical use from uh, this board with all kinds of uh, settings I want to flip the chassis here we see again now on the upper side and here we have the tuning with gears and that's always very interesting and good to see how you can tune such a radio completely mechanically with gears and here also a kind of chain very interesting here all kinds of tubes in this radio and I hope it's visible and I want to flip the chassis again we now go to the underside from that radio and you can see that um, certain types of tubes were used the CV tubes and as far as I know these are battery tubes and there are, they are even they can even be found on flea markets nowadays 2017 CV all kinds of tubes and here you can set indeed the aerial that means you can tune in the antenna you can tune into the band you can uh, align the mixer and the local oscillator 
and here again a view from that chain and gears to tune in to certain frequency bands. Put down the camera again, look at another side from this beautiful antique radio. Here, um, the back side from the front. Here's the front, here's that back side. They used extremely good quality materials for all these military applications. And here is that other side from the radio. And of course it was completely watertight. Here we have a kind of rubber ring and this is the the other part from the radio, completely watertight, so you could immerse such a radio really in water and nothing happened. Well, this is not a very interesting part to show. Again here all kinds of tuning capacitors. So finally we tune it over to the normal position. Oh, sorry. I have to flip it. It's very, very heavy. Approximately 10 kilo or 15 kilograms. Here the front again. And here a small overview. Anyway, it's meant as a kind of documentary from this beautiful old military radio and that was more or less all to tell. <laughs>